Hey, welcome back, everybody. I want to thank you for joining me today and for following along our, with our series of um, mounting a Ross goose. I hope this information has been really helpful and will help you when you attempt to mount your first bird, especially if you're a beginner. Um, I know there's some people out there that are, are pros way better than me, but we put this together for somebody that's just like, hey, I'm interested in taxidermy. Um, how do I go about get started to uh, mount my own bird? And hopefully these tips will, will be very beneficial and help you out. So we got our, our Ross goose here. And basically what we're going to do today is some finish work. Take all this tape off and everything, and we're going to paint this thing's feet. And we're going to mount it onto a piece of wood, a nice plaque that we have. And the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that this bird is, is stabilized. You can see here it can pop off very easily if this thing falls on the floor. All your hard work could go down the drain. Alright, we're just going to start taking this stuff off here. Our paper clips and little things. Now there's going to be some small holes in these feet, but we're going to fill them up and we're going to paint it and you won't even see the holes. And once again, we've shot formaldehyde in these feet so that the bugs won't eat them. You see some old mounts and the feet are all gone it's because the bugs were really happy that you didn't put formaldehyde in there. All right, so next we're going to paint our feet. All right, guys, we're doing with a white bird. Any bird, you don't want to get paint on it because that would look horrific. So I'm going to take some blue tape and I'm going to, I don't know if you can see that real clearly, we're just going to mask that off. And we'll do the other one. I can go back with a paintbrush, feather it in where it looks really nice. But I do not want to get paint on this bird. Alright, so we got that part done. I'm going to take some paper towels. I'm going to make a tear in there. Take my blue tape. And we're going to mask this bird. Alright, basically we're just going to do our best to eliminate any area where the paint could get on your white feathers. All right, what you want to do is you always want to use live reference um, for when you paint your feet or even like when you're painting your bills. Google images, look up Ross Goose, zoom in on the feet, and try to replicate that color. And that's what we're going to do on this bird. And believe it or not, there is a Ross Goose under here. All right, I'm just going to shoot a basically a, a coat on here. Um, just to give us a base for everything else to adhere to and then we'll start blending the colors in to get the desired color of these feet. If you get an area like this where it's too heavy, just take some, I use lacquer paints, take some lacquer thinner and just wipe it off. Just pulling this pins and this carding off. It's like Christmas every time you mount one. When we're pulling off this tape, you want to try to make sure you go the direction of the feathers. And sometimes they'll look a little rough, but you just start smoothing, smoothing back down, get them in place. Sometimes you may have to do some adjustments. I've even actually had to pull feathers out that didn't cooperate just to get the desired look. All right, you guys, tell this looks all messed up right here. Just start pulling, use a little spit, whatever. Just start smoothing them, smoothing them back out. All right, so we got to attach this piece of wood. You can see back here, we just ran the wire in here and cover this with some stuff that'll hold it in place called epoxy sculpt. Get some dirt and rub it over there and it'll blend it in. And that'll be pretty much it. So you can just see we screwed our piece of wood into this little plaque that we have, our little hanger here, 299 Hobby Lobby, and that's it. All right, so we finally got this rust glue completed. And really happy with how it turned out. So check us out on Facebook at Grasslands Taxidermy of California. Also, take a look at us at Mid Valley Mercenaries. Like and subscribe. We're out!